What's going on guys, it's Tom New York and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about the problem on YouTube. I've seen this phrase thrown around a ton the past few months, even, you know, even a lot more recently people are saying, oh my god, this YouTuber is the problem on YouTube or this type of channel or this type of video is the problem on YouTube and people just seem to think they're very convinced that there's a problem on YouTube and, and you see it in tons of comments and even I personally get DMs and people in comments saying, oh my god, you're the problem on YouTube and I just want to talk about what this problem might be. I think it's really funny how people say this is the problem on YouTube and, and every time it's a different fucking problem. Like, you know, it's either, oh, reaction channels, they're the problem on YouTube, or Musical.ly Kids, they're the problem on YouTube, or Leafy, he's the problem on YouTube, or Drama Alert, that's the problem on YouTube. Or m maybe the problem on YouTube is all of these things combined, and I think that's what people are under the impression of, uh, and I just want to talk about that. The channels that are popular today are not the same types of channels that were popular five years ago on YouTube, and that's because the community is constantly changing people who started on YouTube are no longer here or they're way bigger and they're older and they're doing different things also the viewers are interested in different things as well because kids of today are different from the kids of you know a couple of years ago and eight whatever however many years ago YouTube started uh, and the demographic is always shifting and the community is always changing as people grow up and decide to watch YouTube or not watch YouTube or move on and do different things so obviously as the community is changing every single day the content that's going to be produced and uh, become popular on this channel is also going to change every single day uh, because like I said the consumers of the content the viewers you guys uh, it's constantly changing so I think a lot of the people that have been here for a few years are saying oh my god there's a problem on YouTube and what they really mean is YouTube isn't what it used to be uh, and that's not necessarily a bad thing all that means is the content that is popular on YouTube today is different and you might not like that because that's not what you're used to on this platform but uh, the, that popular content is popular for a reason uh, because there is a certain large demographic that does enjoy that type of content and you might not fall into that category you know these large channels like leafy is here or pyro cynical or you know rice gum or drama alert or jacob sartorius or scarce or whoever you know these large channels that weren't that big two years ago or more they're popular these days for a reason it's not like youtube just decided okay we're gonna promote the shit out of these 12 channels uh, and they're just going to blow up because we said so that's not how that works these channels blew up and got bigger and got popular because people saw their content and continued to watch it they would come back regularly watch their content all the time people would subscribe to them or they would watch full videos in a row and binge watch drama or, or leafy or whatever that in turn has YouTube saying, okay, well, you know, people seem to like this content. What we're going to do is we're going to promote it more uh, because, you know, obviously a lot of people like them already. Maybe more people will like them, uh, so we'll promote them and more people will watch and thus we'll get more ad revenue. That is actually how YouTube works and that's how people get popular. You know, the YouTube machine promotes content that people already like. So, you know, it's not like these cancerous problem channels just blew up out of nowhere just to cause harm and chaos they became popular because of the community and members of the community like you guys the content that's created on this platform is completely reflective of its consumers you know if nobody is watching a particular type of video then no one's going to make it okay side note real quick the neighbors kids are outside in the backyard uh, and they're making so much noise and dude i'm just trying to record this video and i just want to go out there and just FATALITY I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. So like I said, the, the problem on YouTube that everybody seems to think that is there uh, is actually channels that people don't like but are only popular because more people actually do like them. Uh, and that's what I think is is crazy. So what, I, what I'm trying to say and what the point of this video is that the problem on YouTube isn't actually a problem. Uh, it's it's simply content that you don't personally like that is that is popular and you don't understand why you know and, and that's not your fault and it, the content's not made for you so it's not you know something that you should even care about but the popular content on this platform is reflective of its consumers like I said so you know uh, the problem on YouTube isn't actually a problem it's just if there is a problem okay let's just, let's assume there is a problem the problem isn't with YouTube in general the problem is with the community on YouTube uh, and the community on YouTube is so large that you might as well just say there's a problem with humanity or there's a problem with America or there's a problem with first world countries and that I would actually agree with but 
to say that there's a problem on YouTube and point your finger at Pyrocynical or Drama Alert or Jacob Sartorius, you know, that's stupid and that's ignorant and that's not understanding how YouTube works and how these people actually get popular. Because like I said, assuming that they just become popular, like just like that, it's stupid. That's not how it works. You know, people don't just get famous for no reason. And I know it might seem that way to you because you don't understand it. Uh, but you know, there are people who do like what they do. You know, a lot of people don't understand why Jacob Sartorius is popular. Uh, and that's because he is popular amongst a demographic that is much younger than you most likely he is popular amongst a you know 8 to 14 demographic or, or maybe a little bit older than that and a little bit younger who knows uh, but it's a very young demographic so if you're 20 years old and you're like why is he famous he's lip-syncing well he's not lip-syncing for you okay the people that find him uh, attractive or find him popular or entertaining or funny or whatever are a lot younger than you uh, and they're the reason that he's popular so you know just because it doesn't make sense to you doesn't mean he's a problem on this website all it means is he's catering to a dem different demographic than you uh, and 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 you know there's nothing you can do about it and it's not his fault and it's not your fault it's not YouTube's fault it's not a problem it's not a problem on the on the website all it is is a group of people finding a one particular thing entertaining that you don't happen to like the same thing goes for leafy pyrocynical anybody like that you know people are like oh he's just a cyber bully and, and that's a that's a problem with YouTube well if it was such a problem he wouldn't be on YouTube and the reason is because if if so many people thought it was a problem and so many people hated leafy or people like leafy like pyrocynical or whoever nobody would watch their content everybody would dislike it who did see their content and then YouTube would either shut the channel down for her for bullying or or they would no longer promote their content and no longer put it on the suggestions feeds or anything like that so that being said it's not a problem because that's not what's happening you know obviously these channels are getting tons and tons of views they're getting large and larger amounts of subscribers they're getting large retention times on their videos a lot of likes more way more likes than dislikes especially on Leafy's later video or like newer videos and all of that positive feedback watch time retention time views subscribers everything like that tells YouTube that this is a good thing because it is because there's a demographic of people a large demographic that enjoys that content so that's not a problem like I said you know I keep coming back to this but I'm trying to get, get you guys to understand that you know the problem that you might think that this website has isn't a problem it's perceived as a problem in your eyes because you don't understand what that content creator does or why that content creator is popular and that's okay because that's what's awesome about YouTube is you could do anything on this website you can be anybody you can cater to any specific niche you know if there is something that you're a fan of or that you love as a hobby or as a passion there's people on YouTube who do it all the time and they share that with the world on this platform uh, and it you don't have to like all of that and you don't have to understand all of that in order for this platform to be successful to grow and to be an awesome place to where you can share Share the things that you love as well so overall I think can we just stop saying that there's a problem on YouTube you know it's not can we just talk about what it really is uh, if it if there is a problem like I said it's a problem with the interests of the first world uh, that's really what it is you know why are we so interested in drama why are we so interested in you know young kids and their music videos or why are little kids looking up to you know sexualized older kids who aren't 18 uh, you know these are the things we have to be talking about or why do people like uh, cyberbullying or why do they think it's funny or entertaining or whatever you know these are the actual problems and it's not a problem on YouTube it's a problem uh, as you know as people as individuals and as a community as a whole let's talk about that in the comment section below if you want tell me what you think about this do you think that I have a point do you think do you understand what I'm trying to say or do you think you have a different opinion on the topic I'd love to hear in the comment section below make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video I would really really appreciate that it would be the real MVP uh, and that's pretty much it guys so subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you want to see some more awesome content like this one and that's a bit it so thank you so much for watching this has been on and i will talk to you later peace